I mean, check this out. Look at that. I think that's supposed to be a bolt. Well, everyone, this is what it currently looks like. This is what it'll look like when it's done. I think that'll be a pretty good difference, don't you think? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are jumping right back to work on our 1981 Jeep CJ5. But before we start jumping in on the Jeep, I wanna throw a huge thank you out there for all of you that have subscribed, liked, or watched my videos. I really appreciate it. I think it was a video or two ago, we hit 100 subscribers. Well, since then, the Jeep series has been starting to blow up, at least for me on my channel, and we're almost at 300 subscribers. So super awesome. I really, really am blessed. I thank all of you that have chosen to watch these videos. Hopefully they're exciting. Hopefully you're enjoying them. So as you know, I'm under a very tight deadline to get this whole Jeep back on the road so I can commute to and from work. And as a part of that, I blocked off all of today to work on it. So the goal for today's video, we're gonna change all these spacers and bushings that the Jeep is sitting on. Very cracked, very gross. So we'll get those changed out. And then we have to change out these body mounts on both sides. Uh, they're all full of holes and just really, really toast. We obviously have a ton of other stuff to do in this process, but again, we really need to make some big progress. So yeah, we have a ton to do on the Jeep today. I hope you all enjoy the video. Let's get after it. Alrighty, I was trying to extract some of the broken rear seat holes. Totally nasty. Broke off my easy out in there, it is definitely gone. So I have one there, one there, and I think one, two, three, so like five or six total. They are so shot. Again, I think I might just slice them from underneath and then kind of try to break them off with some pliers and then just weld in some new nuts. And we have Jake here again, giving us some assistance. Oh yeah, bringing the, the money. The money, bringing the money. We have a lot to do today, so I figured it'd be good to get some help. Thanks to Jake for coming to help. Well, everyone, this is what it currently looks like. This is what it'll look like when it's done. I think that'll be a pretty good difference, don't you think? <laughs> Got it, success. All right, so we got it peeled up. There's a support bracket that comes over here. And so most of it looks good. We'll probably cut out and patch this little area here. We got finished extracting the bottom bracket that supports everything. And then we should be good to weld in our new patch and then the new support underneath.
All right, all done grinding and spraying it in. So now we're gonna start and cut and fit our top piece. Maybe we'll finish cutting off this back piece here and we are super close to finishing this off. We had a couple nuts that were spinning up here. Kind of funny, this little nut was in this little enclosure. So rusted and broke, so I went ahead and welded it really well to the actual pan. So now we're never gonna have that issue again. We can easily pull the bolt right out and we're good to go. Kinda lit it on fire down there, huh? Just a little. Pretty, uh, I don't know, they pretty rusty. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> we don't need to replace them. <laughs> Look at all of this, right? Like, all these, oh, that's hot. All these bolts. <laughs> are just so bad. The next hard part is, yeah, this bolt is spinning inside of the Jeep. Not too sure how we're gonna get this one. Uh, we're gonna have to get a little creative, I think. We got to our problem here. Yeah, this thing was just spinning when we had the bolt on it, this little block in here. So kind of like the other one, I'm gonna rip out some of this metal, clean it up really good, vacuum it out really good, and then we'll weld the block to the actual frame so it won't ever happen again, we'll be good to go. Now, the whole rear tailgate is gonna be replaced. It's really, really wavy. I'm not sure what back end these CJ5s are supposed to have. Some of them have tailgates, some of them just have a straight back. If you have any idea of what's supposed to be on this Jeep, please comment down below. I need to buy a whole new rear deck and then obviously patch in wherever we need to. All the body bushings are out, at least on this side. We have a few more to do on the other side, but that was nasty, that was so bad. Look at all the rust, all the dirt. I guess I shouldn't be surprised about how rough all this stuff is, but if you have a newer Jeep and you wanna change these out, I feel sorry for you. Check this out, look at that. I think that's supposed to be a bolt, and it's just like, yeah, not a bolt, pretty wild. But now the next task is gonna be to clean up and finish our patch here get the other mount kind of welded to the bottom really nice. Uh, we're gonna make sure to bolt everything in before we tack the actual mount in, that way we know it's all aligned, and then do the other side. All right, so we got the top kind of tacked in a little bit. Now we're gonna dry fit our new mount down here. Oh yeah. It's always good when the bolt holes line up really well. All right, we've been at it almost all day. We got this whole patch in. Definitely a lot of filling left to do there, but it's gonna turn out amazing once it's welded in and grinded. This thing is so strong. We got some of the new mounts in here. They look a million times better. I'm super happy with how those turned out. It's been really tough for sure. If any of you are ever doing these mounts, just get ready for all of them to be rusty and you needing to get to the nuts that are on the other end. That was a nightmare. But this side is basically done. We got all that done, but we're gonna start taking apart the other side actually. Start getting some of these mounts swapped out. I think a few of the bolts already broke off. So we're gonna get it cleaning some of those up and then hopefully getting that structural piece swapped out on the other side.
All right, check out this patch. I definitely still am going to grind it all smooth. I just went ahead and shot it with some paint so it wouldn't start to flash rust. But overall, it turned out incredible. I can't believe the patch worked out so well. It still feels kind of warm to the touch. There's still a lot of grinding to do. I went ahead and hit it with some paint so it wouldn't rust, but we're gonna cover the grinding in the next video. And then check out under here. This turned out really good. Up in here, this patch, patched and amazing. The lower structural piece right here, completely replaced and looking good. We got all new body mounts here. That is gonna be night and day from what it was before. And oh man, did I underestimate how bad those bushings were gonna be. Everything was rusted, the nuts were broke off, the bolts were broke off. And then if you take a look at this one, I don't have the bushings in yet, but this structural piece also went in amazing. A little bit more grinding to do on this side. Again, just painted to keep it fresh. But overall, what a day. I'm super excited to have all the bushings done. I think that's the last of the rusty bolts that we're gonna have to change out on the Jeep. I'm super filthy, so I'm gonna go inside and clean up. But if you like this video, drop a like. It really means a lot. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna watch this build get back on the road. Until next time, enjoy your week, and we'll see you in the next one.